Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor and I'm a Sony Imaging Ambassador and I'd like to talk to you about my preference for using smaller tripods. Yes, that's me in the middle of those group of photographers not carrying a backpack or a tripod that weighs over two kilos or four or five pounds. So, uh, of course, I like to travel light, especially when I'm using my most cycle to get to my location. So if it doesn't uh, fit into the tank bag on the top of my motorcycle, then it's not going out to play that day. So, of course, the, uh, the small messenger bags that I'm using will typically take a uh, camera and three lenses and there's not a lot of space left for the tripods. So I'll occasionally take out this uh, Ranger LS223C, C for carbon, uh, because it's no bigger than the camera bag. It'll either attach under or on top, or sometimes you might even be able to squeeze it into the messenger bag itself if you remove one of the lenses. Now, any accessories that I'm taking obviously have to be small. So you can see there I've got another version of a, of a tabletop tripod which is the Leo Photo uh, MT03. This is a really light uh, tabletop tripod but I don't actually use it on tabletops. I actually just place it onto the ground with my camera and lens. Now occasionally I can put that MT03 tripod in a little zipper bag which clips to the front of my Pilot 7L messenger bag and that is another way of making sure that that metal tripod isn't rattling around inside with my lenses. Now first of all I'll take a look at what are sometimes referred to as tabletop tripods but as I said I never actually use them on tables. These are the shorter two tripods that I currently own. There's a Mi Photo Day trip on the left there and the Ranger LS223C there. So first off um, this is the original uh, very small tripod that I owned. It does have a load capacity of four kilograms which is more than enough for um, a full-sized uh, uh, camera plus quite a heavy lens so you're not going to exceed the weight limit just because it's a small tripod. It's small mostly because it doesn't have long legs so you are going to find yourself getting down low when using these tripods. It does have a center column which sort of um, uh, reduces its compact size when you're trying to fold the legs in because of that center column that runs down the middle and of course with that center column you can't get it really low to the ground. This had me looking for an alternative to the Mi Photo, something that was a little bit lighter, something that were with a better construction and something that could get really low to the ground and I found it with the Leo Photo Ranger LS223C. It has now been updated, I've noticed on the B&H store uh, from New York to the CEX and that's because it's got this uh, leveling base um, which is very useful if you're doing panoramic images and I'll talk about that very shortly. Up in the top right hand corner you can see the compact folded footprint which is um, much smaller than the Mi Photo because of that lack of a center column. Admittedly you are going to be a little bit lower than having used in that Mi Photo but you can actually also add a center column on the top if you wanted to um, uh, an aftermarket product. Now obviously this tripod is so small it'll actually fit in your back pocket, hang off your messenger bag and as you can see from the hand holding it, it is exceptionally small, only 22 centimeters along in total length without uh, the uh, additional uh, tripod head on top of that leveling base. Now the leveling base is um, one of the great new features and I'll be updating my uh, Leo Photo Ranger very shortly because I do do that panoramic work which I'll look at. Okay, so here I am. I've got um, a nodal rail, uh, an L bracket, and of course, uh, rather than playing around trying to level the tripod uh, by extending one or two of the legs, you can simply put your tripod down and then level it with that 15 degree leveling uh, base there. So that is going to be quicker for me to work with these panoramic shots. What I'm doing here is I'm creating um, a 12 to 14 millimeter angle of view by using a 20 mil prime in vertical mode with a 50% overlap between those three images. The reason I'm using that nodal rail of course is to remove the parallax error that you might get if you're rotating the camera around the traditional tripod mount point. Now um, often I will not even work with that Ranger tripod. I will go out really light just with this uh, 
this uh, MT03 and I've gone for uh, their smallest ball head. Now that is exceptionally small but it'll still take my full frame camera and quite a hefty lens. It is quite a sturdy unit and of course um, it is very flexible when you're putting it down on the ground. It's got that second uh, set of legs which will help you level it on an uneven base and it will get down exceptionally low to the ground if needs be. I do really like this uh, low angle of view. Of course, uh, I don't often get the opportunity to have the high angle of view if I haven't taken out a full-size tripod, but I actually prefer this for my landscape work because it brings the foreground right into the ultra wide angle shots that I'm using. This is with the uh, the 18 mm Battis lens. Now you can see here uh, I'm putting the camera on the ground and I'm using uh, an ND filter to extend the shutter speed so I smooth out the water in front of this iceberg which has come off a glacier in Alaska. Now because of that low angle of view I've made the iceberg very heroic by pushing it into the sky rather than shooting from waist level. I really don't care much for that waist level vantage point that many photographers shooting landscape adopt. I nearly always want to get down low to the ground and so I'm going to give you a few examples where I am low to the ground. Here I'm just above water level in um, the southern island of New Zealand here and on a beach again in New Zealand getting really down low bringing the beach into the shot with that low vantage point and here um, in um, USA um, right onto the ground um, shooting out to the Grand Tetons there. Death Valley right onto the salt pan right um, to get that really um, coming right into the frame. As you can see I really like that low vantage point and when you're carrying one of these MT03 tripods there is um, never a reason that you've left home without a tripod when you need one. Let's take a look at um, these are tabletop tripods are often referred to as uh, wireless grips. Uh, they use Bluetooth rather than wired um, control to the camera and these uh, one is a Sony one is um, from uh, as an iron B strange name but that's what it's called is uh, and they both um, offer the ability to connect to the camera through a Bluetooth connection. So it supports all of the later model Sony's that do have that Bluetooth interface. But of course um, as it's a grip um, we can also uh, use it to uh, walk with the camera and, and do uh, moving image. Uh, we've got a zoom control there and we've got a start stop button. We've also got a C1 key on both of these devices so we can ac access a custom feature we've assigned to the C1 button on the camera. So these are uh, especially useful. Um, obviously um, with the modern cameras like the Alpha 7C we don't have that micro USB port so and um, the current remotes don't go through the USB type C so really the only way of getting um, a connection with the camera is to use the Bluetooth so I, I expect lots more manufacturers um, to uh, adopt this uh, way of connecting to the camera rather than using wires so let's take a look at the Sony version first. Uh, we've got the uh, the grip and we've also got that wireless remote when we're a little bit further away and we can't actually get to the controls on that grip. So those are two devices and they'll just uh, cost you, uh, it looks like about $216 from B&H. Uh, these are the prices in, in the middle of uh, 2021 here. If that is just a little bit of um, uh, expensive for you, there is this uh, Inky Iron Bee uh, version which is pretty much the same thing. It's quite clever here because the little remote uh, snaps onto the front of the grip. So you can either use it connected to the grip or if you're further away from the grip because it's on a tabletop now is you can just detach that remote from the device and step a couple of steps back uh, to start filming yourself. So really quite clever. Um, the, um, the tele and wide zoom feature can work on the Sony cameras even when you're using a prime using the clear image zoom. 
Okay, so that uh, concludes my review of uh, the sort of table top tripods that I uh, have considered. I've got a couple of Manfrotto's there, which I really started with um, uh, one, uh, the smaller Manfrotto, then moving up to the one with the extending legs. But really now I'm, I'm hooked onto the Leo Photo and those uh, Bluetooth wireless grips. Okay, so I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador. Just give me a thumbs up if you've liked it and put some comments down in the forum below and I'll try and get back to you.